Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to Vampire Survivors on the new map, attempting, hopefully, to get to this question mark that is down into the right of my character. Yes, that is a mini map. Yes, I unlocked that in the previous episode. Definitely check that out if you haven't already. New map for the game, ton of secrets, lot to be found, and it is only getting started. I'm excited to see where this goes. Uh, I realize this map is a lot harder than before, or not than before, than just the other maps, as noted by the patch notes. The dev recommended most players turn off their curse, so I'm willing to give that a shot. I'm running with Antonio here. Let's go for a bird. I want to do Antonio here because he actually got buffed in this update. He has more armor and more HP. Which should be nice for this map, because this map becomes a legitimate challenge as it goes on. It's called the Dairy Plant. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of unique mechanics, including the ability to unlock a mini-map, which I think is usable on all ma maps. I haven't really tested it, but I'm sure it's a thing for all maps. And it has slow-moving projectiles! <laughs> uh, that have little blue snakes that you can shoot. It's awesome. I love it. I am go t just taking as much area damage as I can. That's explaining my picks right now, because last time I went s solely single target damage and got destroyed by the obscene amount of enemies. So this time, I'm different. I'm a changed man. And that's pretty much the only thing different about this video compared to the previous one. Can't think of a single other thing. Uh, maybe except for the fact I moved my office. That's pretty sweet. I'm not, like, in my bedroom anymore for the first time in... I want to say, not ever, like, but the last time I didn't record in my bedroom was when I was still living with my parents back in high school, so this is kind of like a big change for me, uh, but it's still like a work in progress, I'm really trying to still get the room set up, I think I have to do a lot of echo reduction still, I don't really know how it sounds right now, last video was a little bit iffy on the sound, that's because I tried to include my preamp, but I think I set it up wrong because there was a lot of feedback, so I just disabled that for this episode, and I'll go get around to fixing it once I actually can find the time. But yeah, lots of exciting things. This room actually has a lot more space just due to the fact that there isn't a bed behind me anymore, and Candle Labrador is amazing for basically anything this area of effect, except for Bible. I guess it's a bit of anti-synergy, but what are you going to do? Um... Yeah, it's going to be awesome because I'm going to be able to set up stuff like VR. I, I can finally walk around in this room. I have space. I have a higher desk. So I have an under the desk cycle, but that doesn't really matter for videos now, does it? But if I want to, I can like be pedaling while video editing or anything that doesn't require too much mental energy. But sometimes video editing does. So what are you going to do? Let me just take a little sand. Actually, why don't I go Spellbinder? I didn't even realize I had it until I clicked on Santa Water. And by clicked, I mean just pressed spacebar. But I don't hate the upgrade. I'll, I'm sure I'll get another chance for Spellbinder, I'm sure. So, yeah, lots of exciting things in the future. There is a puzzle game that I really want to play on VR. I've done this... I've played pretty much every single one of the Room puzzle games. Uh, they're basically some of my favorite games. Maybe not ever, and they're not even my favorite puzzle games, but they're like in the top... 10 or 20 percent of puzzle games for me but i've heard the vr version of is of it is really 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 good so i definitely ooh, i ate chicken definitely want to check that out vr puzzle games will be awesome it'll be just fun to return to puzzle games in general i, I feel that i've been lacking a new puzzle game release and this month there's two puzzle games that i've been hyped for actually coming out that i'm greatly excited for one of them is hyperbolica it's a puzzle game set in non-Euclidean space, which just seems like an absolute trip, which should be a ton of fun. And then the other one's called Patrick's Parabox, which is basically a recursive puzzler that's really accessible, and I did a demo on it about a year ago, a little bit more than a year ago, so I've been waiting for this for a while. It's shaping up to be a really, really exciting game, so... I can't wait for the both of them. So, March is going to be the month of the puzzle. Puzzle games are my favorite genre. If you are new to the channel, you should know this. I absolutely love puzzle games. have a lot of fantastic puzzle game series worth watching. My current favorite puzzle game of all time is Baba Is You. But honestly, with the lineup of this year's puzzle games, that might be dethroned. There are at least two games releasing this year that I think could possibly outdo Baba Is You. One of them being Patrick's Par 
Parabox, although that one might be a bit more low-key. I'm just kind of hoping it's a more of a sleeper hit. Uh, the main one I'm looking for is a game called Taiji. It's spelled T-A-I-J-I. -I. It's a game that's been in development for like seven years and is shaping up to be an incredible, incredible puzzle game. From the very limited amount I know about it, I'm trying to restrict myself from spoilers and all that, but I know there's devlogs on YouTube and it just seems like the passion that's going into it seems insane. Uh, but... You know, if it's not as good as Baba is you, I won't complain. Even if it's 10% as good, I'll still love it because Baba is you is just that amazing. And I do admit I've been neglecting the Baba uploads for a bit. And I don't really have a response to that. It's just I've got to figure out how to make it entertaining. I've played a bit in my free time, but I haven't really been able to make videos from it just because... I've got to figure out how to make it more accessible because if you watch the series from the beginning, you're going to understand the game. But if you're like hopping into it for the first time, it would be to your advantage that you watch earlier episodes of it. If that, if that makes any sense. Okay, I don't know what I'm going to do about those slow moving projectile dudes. I think I'm just going to take this guy down and I think I'm just going to start focusing on trying to get to the question mark. And no, okay, slow moving projectile dudes are still going to hop towards me get a little upgrade why don't I take care of that I mean I'm gonna have to go all out for damage all things considered so why not go for birds why not go for everything that's insane area damage and just hope the area damage becomes single target damage because of how strong it is doesn't mean I'm going garlic <laughs> I'll go candle Labrador that seems fine how am I doing I have to go down to right to to get to whatever the hell this is. And then I'll have to get the other secrets as well. Because one of them's Candle Labrador, maybe I shouldn't have even gotten Candle Labrador. Another one's a Tractor, but of course it is. I didn't really look at any of the other ones besides the question mark, because you have to think about the question mark. That's the unknown. You have to figure out what it is. Because it, it seems that if I pick up the other items that are on the ground, I don't get a sixth upgrade, even though when I unlock it, it says level six. Or just one level higher than what it currently was. And I don't know if that's a visual bug or if that's a game bug where they just don't implement a level 6. But either way, if you pick up um, an item on the ground of something you have maxed out, I think it would be cool to get level 6 of that. It would be a nice reward. And it would then make it so that you're not forced to get exactly the uh, uh, other items first. And I'm trying to dodge the buttons here, but... There's actually a lot I got to juke right now. Rune Tracer has infinite pierce, so give me the Tracer. I think it'll be nice for down the line. And give me this chest. The triple chest. Love to see it. Uh, hell yes. And how close am I? I've still got a bit of ways to go. I guess I haven't made much progress on this question mark in a while. I have to follow where the map shows me. I think the map is an incredible addition, by the way. For finding the secrets, I don't think it trivializes it because you still have to go there sacrificing levels. If anything, it makes finding the secrets more fun. And I did want to get Bracer. Everything except for Whip is going to synergize with Bracer. So give me the Brace. Of course, I do hate passing up more damage, but sacrifices must be made. We're getting close. Down one into the right one. What one is, is up for debate. Oh, hey, congrats, you found it. Now prepare to die. It's a coffin. Oh my god, it's a coffin. But you know what? Oh, oh, do I need to kill all these knights? Oh god, okay, it's a separate challenge? Uh, the minecart did me a good solid. Took out a few of those knights, but I still gotta kill those. Okay, I'm camping out this area until I can be strong enough to kill the knights. Thankfully, I do have a lot of things with infinite pierce, so I should be able to deal with the knights. But there's a lot of stuff approaching me that thankfully gets knocked back, but also has a ton of HP. Give me this upgrade. Bible, awesome. That one has unlimited pierce. And let's level up the Bible. Ten more base damage seems awesome for everything. So I think I gotta kill all the knights before unlocking the coffin, because I, I stood on it and nothing happened. But you know what? This is the spot to kill the knights. Just move with them as they pulse. And they're going to go down. These are the most jellyfish-esque knights I've ever seen. And enemies got in to my inner sanctum. No, no, no. That shall not be. Only a few knights to go. 
There's gonna be a boss inside. There, there has to be a boss inside, right? What? Oh, a new character unlock. Thank you, Antonio, but the vampire is in another coffin? Okay. But, what, but, <laughs> but crazy, don't be. Papa Pe Pecorina joins the survivors. So, new character? I'll have to check that out next run. They don't mean another coffin, literally, it seems. Well, now I gotta chase down the other stuff. So, this should be a lot of fun, I think. Because there is a Candle Labrador item, I still want to get level 4. Because maybe th it actually was a bug that items can't become level 6. I should go there first and then I'll double back to get the extra things. The extra things I don't even want to get until I get other items. Because I would want the the other pickups to be a 7th, 8th, and ninth item. That's the preferred way to go about this. This feels like an XP starve. It feels as though they're not sending me that many enemies, so I don't get that much XP. I don't level up, and now they're sending me more enemies. But the last minute was more just preventing me from leveling up to make me weaker against minutes like this. So maybe I should be summoning enemies in times like that? Yeah, honestly, the Jellyfish Summon is probably one of the most manageable ones, especially with Infinite Pierce. So I actually want to keep summoning Jellyfish if I can help it. Is this always going to summon them? Well, hold on. Maybe not always. Yeah, maybe not always. Hold on. There's a lot going on here. Let me go Spellbinder this time so, so I can evolve the Bibles down the road and just buff them now. And if I stand on this... Oh, I, damn it, I need to kill this stuff. If I stand on here, no, it's something different. But you know what? It is something that area damage is good against. So much stuff is getting through my Bibles, though. I've really got to prepare better for that. Let's go. Oh, Hollow Heart makes sense here. Yeah, let's lock in the Hollow Heart. As much as it pains me to pass up Empty Tome, I think it's just fair to lock it in. And it's not even a bad upgrade anyway. Let's go with Ebony Wings here. And let me kill this Elite. It, it, it looks like one of the slow-moving projectile dudes. Oh god, some enemies still keep getting by, but I haven't seen it fire a projectile. Maybe it just means it's- What? What the hell is this? A green reaper. Excuse me? Where did you come from? What? What? Where did you- I'm not letting you touch me. Can I... It's not taking damage? It's a slow-moving green reaper projectile. And by projectile, I just mean enemy here, but what the hell? It's literally not taking damage. Okay, I get a few levels here. This is nice. I- What? Dude, why won't it die? Why won't you die? Give me this thing. I get the Evolved Whip right now. Which is very helpful, because I'm missing a ton of HP. Why won't you die? And summoning enemies is nice. Okay, so this map still has more secrets. I'm... I feel like if it touches me, it's going to do literal Reaper damage. So I really don't want to chance it. Give me the Santa water right now. Why not? And honestly, I might as well just keep farming enemies. I think my build allows for it. So I might, I might as well just try to level up here before chasing other stuff. And it just disappeared. Dude, it, it just went bye-bye. I, I love these. I feel the worst summons would be fast-moving enemies and projectile-shooting enemies. But only because there aren't that many of the projectile-shooting enemies when they happen. I just want a lot of enemies right now, because I can handle it. I'm going to take this opportunity to just get a huge spike at XP. Huge spike. I'm, I mean, I'm already up to max HP. Let me go Pichon here. Oh, but you know what? There is a decent cooldown on these summons. Okay, but maybe the different summons are different. I mean, as in allowing for cooldowns. If the cooldown is maxed out for one, maybe it's not maxed out for another. And by maxed out, I just mean in cooldown. Oh, there's red orbs in an inaccessible spot. Just kidding, I have a tract orb. A tract orb is insane. Let me go Santa Water so I can level that up soon. Okay, so nothing summoned here. Let me try all of the other buttons. Let's go, Pichon. No, maybe there is a... U oh, no, I don't know if there's a universal cooldown or not. It, it might be on a button-by-button -button basis, but there's a lot of buttons in this area. Okay, whatever these enemies are, these are tough. 
These are some beefy, tanky enemies. No, I'm really, truly getting universal cooldown vibes from this. I, I, what I want is more enemies. I can do more XP. I really can. Summon. Maybe I have to stand here longer? Maybe I have to... I'm not sure. Maybe I have to, like, press a bunch of different buttons? And then something will summon? Like, press this and the game's like, no. Press this and the game's like, maybe. Press this and the game's like, yes. Maybe not. No, the game's still like, no. It's telling me no. What about these buttons? It's a totally different set. And I just ate three chickens on a full stomach. I'm... I'm gonna get the shits. It's gonna happen. Hopefully it comes out cleanly. That's all I have to say. Minute 16. This is where things were starting to get dicey last run. Enemies are getting stronger. I'm not getting that much stronger, but you know what? I do get a chest from this guy. Almost surely. So that'll be a huge power spike. I think I'm getting Labora from this. Focus you down for now. There we go. Give me Labora. I want Labora. Perfect. We got more empty tome. Okay, I probably should make my way to towards Candle Labrador. I don't have to select it unless if I just want the upgrade without leveling, which is fair. That is a thing to want. But really, I just want to go in that direction. Now, I guess I am missing out on spinach, but my character is spinach incarnate. So I really don't mind not picking up the spinach. Sure, I guess that means I don't get maximum might. Which could be bad. I don't know how strong the late enemies are going to be. Like, maybe I'm screwing up if I didn't do that. But I'm getting a lot of good evolved weapons. And hopefully, once I get Vandalier, I can fill in the gaps with Thunder... Never mind, I don't have Duplicator. Wow, actually, I didn't take... I missed out on a lot of, like, good things. Hopefully, I can get to all the items here. But still, I've got to level up. Like, I'll, I'll take this from time to time. These dudes go down easy. I'll take more of those. Are you going to let me summon another? I don't know why I keep hoping, uh, hoping it to. I think that's just what I'm running on right now. Pure hope. I don't even know if I'm going to take down that elite right now. I might just let it survive and then focus. Oh, okay, it died. <laughs> um, well, I'm not going to collect this chest until I can level something up. Was the main idea here. Okay, I see the candle Labrador. So now... I've just got to level it up. Of course, there is the part of me that says, you know that you're not going to get level 6 Candle Labrador. Stop dreaming and just take the level 5. You know it's not real, but I want to believe. It's like wrestling, man. It's still real to me, damn it. I need it. Candle Labrador, let's see what happens. So right now, my area is plus 60%. Let me see what happened. Ah! This stupid elite. Mm, that will be <laughs> decided after I can get around this elite. Or actually just get through this enemies. I picked the worst time to try to focus down this stuff. At least I get an evolved Bible right now. Unholy Vespers. Now let me get to the Candle Labrador. So it says level 6. But does anything change? No. It's still 60%. Man, I don't know what the dev actually wants of it. You could say either way is a bug. Either the display of level 6 is a bug or it not leveling you up is a bug. I really think it'd be cool to get a level 6 of an item. That'd be the more fun version. But I understand if the dev is like, no, you can only have level 5 max. It would just be too ridiculous. Otherwise, I would understand it. But we all know it would be more fun. So forgive me for having hope. And I think I can get a Vandalier up at this point now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can. Let's just go Attract Dorb and Rune Tracer. So let's make my way up to Vandalier. Give me... Yeah, give, just give me more Attract Dorb. I want to level up more quickly at this point. Just get more good things. Because it's minute 20 and I'm not even close to max. I wonder if one of the things that actually made harder about this stage in comparison to the other stage is that even though the enemies are plenty and strong, they don't give that much XP. I feel like for the amount of killing I've done, I would have a much higher level on another map. 
And I even have the maximum power up for XP enabled. So it is crazy that I'm this low of a level. But maybe I'm just imagining things. But still, I got Vandalier. Now I've got to go hunt down the wings, armor, and, well, I guess not really a Tractor. Level 6 a Tractor. I level up my Tractor because I just wanted to have it now instead of waiting later. I just really wanted to get it, not necessarily out of the way, but I wanted to get the ramping that would result from getting to max tier of it. Anyways, all the summons are pretty easy right now. I see why there's a cooldown for summons, because I guess I have a stage where it would be too easy and Lightning Ring isn't actually what I want. Just give me a Rune Tracer. Yeah, it would be way too easy to farm because more enemies on the screen would not really make the game harder. Just having the enemies be stronger would make them harder. Now, that would be an interesting thing for a button to do. Maybe give the enemies a temporary buff. I am surprised, actually, that there is no enemy that buffs other enemies. If they were to add a fourth map, some sort of buffer would, would be fun, I think. You gotta focus down that enemy so we can stop giving the damage or HP or speed bonus to other enemies. Speed bonus would probably be the most overpowered for enemies to have. So maybe just damage bonus or HP bonus. Or <laughs> maybe a shield, but shield might be boring for all I know. I bet this game could find a way to make it fun, so I would never rule it out. Uh, knife evolves with my build. I think I'll take the knife this time. I'm at a period in time where it is impossible for the knife to do nothing. There are so many enemies that it's so rare that it's going to just miss. And as far as items go, I'm going to go wings first. And then armor. Because think about it, if I get the wings first, I can get to the armor more quickly. It's just simple math. Now, what's funny is that between all the items I'm going to get, there's no way I'm going to level everything up, right? And Vandalier, th there's no way I'm going to level everything up. I've heard there is a mega, mega power spike near the end of this arena. So just because the other videos I've had on this have had the last 10 minutes for a cakewalk does not mean it's the case for this run. This run's still going to be tough all the way through according to what I've read. More enemies spawned. Yes, yes, give me the XP. These guys are so weak. Damn it though, I need my Vandalier upgrades. This game hates offering them to me, I guess. Oh, it's knights? Those are a regular enemy in this game. Thankfully, they go down easily, but damn. This, uh, this map does not pull any, any punches, I'll tell you what. Uh, according to the map, I should be right on top of it. There's just so much going on the screen that I don't see it. Oh, here it is. It was just out of vision. Wings! Hell yeah, this is one of my first times having seven items. I have had seven items before, but what I don't know is whether or not I'll actually get to level up the wings. I'm j just 10% faster right now, which should help me get to the armor, which will be awesome for tankiness. And actually extra awesome, considering that my character has the highest amount of armor out of any character. They did buff Antonio's armor count. He is a true knight now. So that should be exciting. What are these? Are these like dragons? They look like chickens. They're chicken monsters. Truly terrifying. Don't want to eat those. Okay, it's a long way to get through the armor. I don't have to keep looking at the mini-map. Just fight through the demon chickens. Oh, I do get to level up wings. I'm not going to take it. I would rather have more damage. And more movement speed isn't even that helpful to me because I'm still pausing to kill. But once I get more damage, I mean, leveling up wings seems wonderful. And the thing is, I might as well make the journey to the Attractor, even though I know I'm not going to be getting it. I might as well go towards it. Oh, wait a second. Red gems, though. This is a red gem phase. Maybe? Maybe this will work out. Bracer gives me more damage. Maybe I still can level everything up. I can dream. I really, really can dream. Let's go Bracer again. His enemies are freaking tough, though. Thankfully, they get knocked back quite nicely. But I'm scared for the 25-minute mark. Or, sorry, 29-minute mark on this. I hear it's really, really tough on this map. I think armor might be extra helpful, though. Maxed out Vandalier, that's huge. 
excellent area damage. Excellent mega damage. And also, this is pretty sweet for Labora. Since they're following me and just leaving a trail of death behind. Finally maxed out the knife, but I don't know if I'm going to get the evolved version. I get the golems! Okay, hold on. It says that the armor should be nearby. Where is it? Like, it says it's just a bit up. I just can't see anything, damn it! I can't see anything. I took damage somehow. These golems are insane. What in the hell? Give me the armor, please. Where it? It's still further up. A little bit to the left. Okay, like I'm up against the wall, so it's just got to be to the left now, right? Dude, this is obscene. Damn it, I want the armor. I would rather level that up than wings. Wings isn't even that helpful to me. Come on, where is it? I can't see anything! It's just up? Is it not in here? Is it on the other side of the wall? It's on the other side of the wall. Give me the chicken. Damn it, it's gotta be on the other side of the wall then. No! I have only eight seconds. There's no way I'm gonna make it. Unless I just gun it, but I'm too scared to. Yeah, these guys can still mess me up. Mmm, okay, I guess I'm getting that next time. Hey, well, there's still an excuse to do this new map. Revive, no, Revive's not gonna get me there. There's no chance. Is I unlocked a new character. I'll have to check that out. I also unlocked Hyper Dairy Plant, which sounds obscene. And I have not gotten all the items on the map yet. So plenty to do next time. Hope to see you there. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a wonderful day and peace.